পবিত্র ভূমিলে মই ভারতবর্ষর উপরাষ্ট্রপতি শ্রী জগদীশ ধানকা ডাঙরিয়াক আদরণি জানাইছো আই ফিল ইমেন্সলি ডিলাইটেড টু বি প্রেজেন্ট ইন দিস বিউটিফুল ক্যাম্পাস অফ আই আই টি গুহাটি টুডে ইট ইজ আওয়ার গ্রেট অনার দ্যাট অনারেবল ভাইস প্রেসিডেন্ট অফ ইন্ডিয়া শ্রী জগদীপ ধানকারজি ইজ প্রেজেন্ট উইথ হাস এট দিস কনভোকেশন স্যার অন বিহাফ অফ দ্য পিপল অফ আসাম আই এক্সটেন্ড ইউ এ ওয়ার্ম ওয়েলকাম টু আওয়ার বিউটিফুল স্টেট ইউর প্রেজেন্স হিয়ার ইজ এ গ্রেট ইন্সপাইরেশন ফর অল অফ আস ইউর ভিজিট টু দিস প্রিমিয়ার ইনস্টিটিউট অফ দ্য কান্ট্রি শোজ দ্য ইম্পর্টেন্স ইউ অ্যাটেস অন আওয়ার ইয়ং জেনারেশন আই এম শিওর ইউর ভ্যালুয়েবল ওয়ার্ডস উইল প্রফাউসলি ইলুমিনেট দ্য মাইন্ডস অফ অল প্রেজেন্ট হিয়ার your works your words will inspire the graduating students to become the active stakeholders in the development journey of our great nation on the occasion of 25th convocation of iit guwahati i extend my heartiest congratulations and best wishes to all the graduating students your success is a result of your hard work complemented by efforts of your teachers and sacrifices of your parents i dear for thanks and congratulate all faculty members and your parents for their painstaking efforts that led to your overall development honorable prime minister sri narendra modi ji has rightly pointed out that while the third decade of the last century gave new momentum to india's freedom struggle the third decade of the current century is given is giving impetus to the development journey of india he term our universities colleges iits iims and aims as the building blocks of a new india i find an echo of his words whenever i visit the beautiful campus of iit guwahati iit guwahati with its glorious existence has made resounding presence in the global academic landscape today the ranking of this institute among top technical institute in the world by some of the globally recognized institute such as london based times higher education QS World University Ranking, NIRF, and others speak volume about the rich academic environment of this prestigious institute. Its research activities have significantly benefited our society. Its effort to improve research and development collaboration in multidisciplinary subjects has blustered the foundation of a technology driven and knowledge based society in our country it is noteworthy that such endeavors on the part of the institute is aligned with the vision of national education policy 2020 the institute commitment to promoting sustainable practices is creating a positive impact on our society and the environment IIT Guwahati which is expertise in different fields have made immense contribution to our state our government and IIT Guwahati have been working together on several projects as a unique initiative for the country in the areas of medical research and multidisciplinary services we are jointly setting up Assam Advanced Health Innovation Institute at this campus we have also collaborated in the field of water resource management disaster response and preparedness agriculture wildlife protection heritage preservation developing multiple technologies in oil and natural gas sector capacity building of teachers skill development and setting up of tinkering lab in a bid to promote scientific temperament among our youth i ask 
IIT Guwahati to further strengthen its cooperation and identity in new areas of collaboration with our government for the benefit of our state. In next 25 years, our country will be attaining 100 years of independence. For this period of Amrit Kal, new goals have been set and plans are devised with major trust on technology. Emerging areas like advanced communication, wireless networking, artificial intelligence, machine learning, cloud computing, cyber security, data science, and data analytics will be very crucial for their effective deployment in economy and welfare of society. I hope the graduating students will continue the zeal to contribute their fullest in this technological transformation to realize the vision set for next 25 years by our Honorable Prime Minister. From this platform today, I urge you to use the knowledge that you gain here for the greater good of humanity. Utilize your expertise in the field of innovation to create products that serve sustainable development. Be the master of your destiny by creating your own enterprise and thereby opening job opportunities for many in different domains. The students of these universities hail from different parts of the country. That this reminds me of our Honorable Prime Minister calls of Ek Bharat, Shrestha Bharat. It is the idea of strengthening our country by enhanced interaction between people of different parts of India. IIT Guwahati is a melting pot as it comes to student mix perfectly epitomizing the idea of Ek Bharat, Shrestha Bharat. I urge upon the graduating students today to nurture the spirit of Ek Bharat, Shrestha Bharat as they embark upon the journey of making of a new India. Dear students, I also urge you to remain respectful and dutiful to your parents who have always been instrumental for your well-being. You must also take along the poor and downtrodden of this vast country who are in need of your support and care the most. Of course, I'll also request you not to forget the state of Assam. We all know that obtaining a degree from an institute like IIT is a privilege of a very few. It is evident today that India's youth have surpassed the concept of education being limited to placement and degree. Instead, they have discovered that education means filling more parent, patents and establishing more startups. I am sure the graduating students today will also endorse this spirit and bring the spark would trigger the changes in the Amrit Kal of Bharat. I congratulate all of you once again for receiving your degrees at this convocation today. With this, again, wishing you all for a successful life, I bring in to my words. Thank you. Joy Bharat. Joy Ayakam.